In the Creativity Code, Marcus de Saltoy, a professor of mathematics at the University of Oxford, embarks on a fascinating journey to explore the capabilities and limitations of artificial intelligence in replicating and surpassing human creativity. The book delves into the evolving relationship between humans and machines, questioning whether AI can achieve genuine creativity or if it's merely an imitation of human processes. Where do you land on this issue? Good question, right? While you ponder that, in the meantime, let's get into what de Sautoy has to say. Welcome back to another book review by The Tech Agitator. Thank you so much for tuning in. I trust that you will find this review to be informative in the least, hopefully intriguing, and we'll dive right into it. The concept of creativity. I like that he explored this angle. De Sautoy begins by defining creativity, traditionally seen as the domain of human intelligence, involving the generation of new ideas, artistic expressions, and innovative solutions to complex problems. He argues that understanding creativity is essential in assessing AI's potential to mimic or exceed this quintessentially human trait. The author provides compelling examples of AI's foray into creative domains, such as art and music. He discusses algorithms that have composed pieces of music indistinguishable from those created by human composers, and software that has produced paintings in styles eerily reminiscent of great artists. These examples serve to question the boundaries of creativity and whether the source of creativity matters if the outcome evokes the same emotional response in its audience. De Sato explains the mechanisms behind creative AI's creative abilities, including machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks. These technologies allow AI to learn from vast data sets. They recognize patterns and make decisions with minimal human intervention. He emphasizes that while these systems can mimic certain aspects of human thought and creativity, they operate differently from the human brain. Despite AI's impressive achievements, De Sautoy highlights its limitations. He argues that AI lacks consciousness and emotional depth, which, of course, are crucial components of human creativity. AI's creations, while technically proficient, may lack the soul and emotional resonance that human artists imbue in their work. Furthermore, AI's dependency on existing data for learning can limit its ability to truly innovate or create something entirely new. However, he is optimistic about the potential for human AI collaboration in pushing the boundaries of creativity. He envisions a future where AI assists humans in exploring uncharted territories of creativity providing tools and insights that could lead to groundbreaking discoveries and creations. This synergy could enhance human creativity rather than replace it, leading to a new era of innovation. The book also addresses the ethical and philosophical implications of AI in creative fields. De Salatory raises questions about authorship, copyright, and the value of art created by machines. He encourages readers to consider what it means to be creative and whether AI challenges our understanding of human uniqueness. The Creativity Code concludes on a reflective note, though, pondering the future relationship between humans and AI. De Sato suggests that AI's role in creativity is not a threat, but an opportunity to expand our understanding of what it means to be creative. He calls for an open-minded approach to AI, urging society to embrace the possibilities it offers while being mindful of the challenges it possesses. I'll say that Marcus de Sautoy's The Creativity Code is a thought-provoking exploration 
of AI's potential to transform the creative landscape. By blending scientific insight with philosophical inquiry, he does offer a balanced perspective on the capabilities and limitations of AI in replicating human creativity. I do feel that the book is an essential read for anyone interested in the intersection of technology, art, and the future of human creativity. So there you have it, people. Thank you so much for tuning in to another book review by The Tech Agitator. This book is available in my favorite format, audio. And uh, of course, I will have a link to the book down in the description below. Hey, if you found this review to be entertaining or helpful or informative in some way, please like, share this video so that other people can find it as well those other minds that are interested in all things AI. If you've read the book, have some thoughts about it, I'd love to hear your comments below. Let's start the discourse on this thing because we know that AI is here to stay, so we might as well get on the playground and play with it. Again, thanks you for tuning in to another episode of a book review by The Tech Agitator, and until next time, take care. Dance the 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 dance the